Hey, Mark, uh, what happened? <laughs> well, it's going to be crazy, but I had a 44 Special Charter Arms that got stuck in a dryer. The whole gun? Yeah, loaded. Gee, Willikers, okay. Uh, huh. Well, I'm, I'm not so worried about the rounds. I just pulled those out, but it got pretty hot. Um, yeah. and, and the way, the way it happened was I'd taken everything off. I had it in a neoprene sleeve and dropped it on the side of the bed. And somebody came along and pulled everything off and threw everything with a load that needed to be dried in the dryer. So, uh, Well, I mean, several lessons here. Obviously, uh, be in better control of your gun. It does oh, yeah. not need to. Oh, yeah. It doesn't need to be laying around, loaded, where somebody can pick it up. Okay, you got to have a place for it. Where, I mean, when you take it off, it goes into the place, and then and it comes out of place. Well, let's talk about a gun that got hot. Uh, the dryer is probably not hot enough to hurt the gun. Okay, but I want to talk. And you already said you're not, you're, you're okay with the ammo. You're going to get rid of that. But I want to talk about two oh, things that yeah. could happen to ammo. Right? There's for people to understand this. Uh, did it go through the washing machine or just the dryer? Nope, just the dryer. It just got pulled off accidentally because I had changed yeah. into another suit. I got three different charters, and I, and I carry them in different clothes, and that's the reason why. Sure. Uh, <laughs> with, with ammo, several things. If, for those who are thinking, well, gee, if it went through the washer, it's probably okay. The problem is you don't know about ammo. And I'm talking about ammo specifically. You don't know if it got wet. You could end up with a squib load. But there's something weird right. also that can happen with ammo if it gets vibrated a lot. The powder granules, they're set up to burn at a particular rate, and that has a lot to do with the surface area. If they get vibrated and the, am the granules of powder break up, it changes the surface area. They're smaller. You're going to have a faster burn rate. You could actually conceivably have excess pressures because you have broken up the granules of smokeless powder in there. In your case, I mean, you're smart enough to know, just pitch that ammo and don't use that. But I don't think there's a problem. I think your, your revolver is going to be fine. I don't think there's an issue there. That's the only thing I was worried about was the sooner. It got pretty hot. Dude. She handed it back to me, and she said, I said, oh, no, come on. She goes, yep. I said, okay, fine. But I immediately got rid of the silver tips, but I, I, I just sat there and I thought, you know what? I better take this over to the armor. And if you don't know, I'm law enforcement. I'm just la I sat there and I thought, no, I'm not going to admit to that. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, if you sit there, Jim makes a good point. If you sat, sat there and just shot the devil out of it time after time after time, it's going to get mighty hot there, too. So I wouldn't worry about the temper in the gun itself. And I think you've done okay. You got rid of the ammo. But it is one of those wake-up calls. And we've all done it. We wear them all the time. And, you, think, you know, I need a better system. And I appreciate the call, sir. It gives me a chance to, to talk about some safety things there. Safety, safety, safety. 